mayong udto kena tuntenen. My dear friends, we are always called to open our hearts and our minds, to open our very self for Jesus to take over us, to impose His authority over us. And yet, this is a quite a challenge because many of us would fear in doing such, thinking that maybe God can infringe my freedom. Or it could be that my life would be transformed into the unknown that I am not yet ready to embrace. Yesterday's gospel, we are taught about a new teaching with authority where people were astonished and they were uh, somehow being surprised to the brink of their hearts of what kind of authority that this man has. And yet, the authority of the Lord is always liberating. It gives us the sense of true freedom. Instead of thinking that we, our freedom will be curtailed, it is because God in His might and power respects human freedom. He cannot somehow infringe our precious freedom and our capacity to decide upon ourselves and our capacity to act according to our decisions and choices. If He will do this, then therefore He is lesser of a God. And yet, in God's power, He respects human freedom. And if we choose what is evil and what is not right, instead of what our freedom is girded towards, and that is for the good, then God will always find ways to remind us and would always invite us to himself and would always impose once again his authority that is based on compassion, mercy, and love. And that is also the same thing that happened to this possessed person in our gospel today, and not only with one unclean spirit, but legion. O gayaw ni Himuang, nga rason, nga di na mumukaon, og baboy, tungod ni ining maong ibanghilyo karon. Naunsa naman tayo ni nasa badista na ta. And yet, we are told that the very wonderful things that Jesus can do if only we allow Him to rule and to lord over ourselves. Even the legion acknowledges the supremacy, the power of Jesus. And even the legion prostrated in front of the Lord. And therefore, it is when we open our hearts necessarily that we are being possessed like that this this person but somehow in our struggles in life we also have a lot of unclean spirits our tendencies to sin our tendencies to be um, self-contained our tendencies not to mind the welfare of others and so on and so forth the long list will never end our unclean spirits and we need jesus to cleanse us to liberate us and to transform our hearts but in order for us to do this, we learn that the virtue of humility is the key to completely open ourselves to the authority of Jesus. The first reading from the book of Prophet Samuel, we are told about the humility of King David after he committed um, adultery and plotted the death of the husband of Bathsheba. He prostrated himself and stooped down and even wept so loud in order for God to hear his lamentations. But there was a certain man here in the first reading, Shimei, humiliated David. And yet, David has still the power to humiliate back or to somehow strike back. But he did not do it. Instead, he continued to stoop down. He continued to be humble and even thinking what if God allows this to happen for me to pay off the debts of my sins? And this is indeed the calling in our hearts, humility, in order for us to let Jesus to rule over us, to lord over our lives, and to cleanse us from all our iniquities and from all our unclean spirits. So that whenever we open our minds and our whole self to the Lord, we can now be the kind of person that He wants us becoming. Amen.